I went to Denny's. I'm not proud of it. But it was Easter and little else was open. America was busy pretending that 2,000 years ago a zombie god rose from the dead to feast upon the incomes of the living through various chapels, churches, and megachurches littered across the landscape of this humble little ball of dirt covered in gullible rubes that we refer to as Planet Earth. Also, there's a rabbit in there somewhere. Yeah, a rabbit that brings chocolate and eggs. Why does that make sense? I don't know! It really doesn't make any sense, does it? Why would a bunny rabbit bring chocolate and eggs? It seems like he would bring carrots and cabbage. Not that most of us would get that excited about such a holiday, but at least it's consistent. If you're going to have a creature bring eggs, it should at least be a chicken, I would imagine. That seems a lot more reasonable. Or if a chicken is not a fitting symbol of a holiday, make it like a hawk. A badass hawk that brings eggs. That's a cool holiday, right? A lot cooler than a bunny rabbit. We don't give shit to the Easter Bunny. At least Santa Claus gets milk and cookies. I mean, that's shitty compensation, but at least it's something. Ah, I think that on Easter Eve, we should leave out hot and horny girl bunnies. That way the Easter Bunny can have a little fun. Maybe you'll get Lunny. Lunny? Maybe you'll get lucky and the Easter Bunny will impregnate her, and then you can have a bunch of little baby Easter Bunnies. You maximize your chocolate and egg earning potential that way. Anyway, I went to Denny's, and one thing you can always rely on about Denny's is total and utter mediocrity. You've never heard anyone say like, Hey man, you know what's fucking awesome? Denny's! Yeah! At least you've never heard anyone sober say that. And there's a good reason no one says that. Because no one thinks that. No one goes to Denny's for the quality of the food. People go to Denny's because it's cheap. Also, there's something that's sort of comforting about mediocrity. If you're dreading an event, it's really stressful. But if you're looking forward to an event, that's kind of stressful too. If you know something's going to be mediocre, then you can respond with apathy. And apathy puts no pressure on you whatsoever. You don't feel like you have to have a good time. There's no pressure. That's part of the appeal of Denny's. It's bland. It's boring. It's soothing. It's a low-pressure environment. You can just chill. You go in, you shovel food into your mouth, and you leave. Describe for me what the inside of a Denny's looks like. You can't. It doesn't look like anything. There's no atmosphere. Denny's is a lot like the Men in Black. It's designed to leave no lasting impression. That all being said, I had a horrible experience at Denny's last night. I wanted bland and I got bad. I was jarred! I'm still jarred! I can't believe that my comfortable little Denny's world has been shattered so thoroughly! My server was a greasy Eastern European man. He took our drink orders, and my friend Galen ordered a Grey Goose vodka, which of course Denny's doesn't have because Denny's doesn't serve alcohol, because if they did, they wouldn't be so hopelessly mediocre, which is kind of what Denny's goes for, I think. The waiter looked at my friend Galen with confusion, and then Galen said, It was a joke. And the waiter said, yes, joke, I understand. But he didn't understand. You could see in his face he didn't understand. He didn't smile. He didn't roll his eyes like, oh, what a terrible joke. He didn't acknowledge the joke at all, other than to say, I understand, with no understanding on his face whatsoever. He got all of our orders wrong. My friend Jake ordered the nachos with no meat. And he got it with no meat, but he also got it with no anything else either. They took off the salsa, they took off the sour cream. It was just cheese, that's all. Just chips and cheese. Galen's food was terrible and undercooked. My girlfriend Holly's entree was supposed to come with salsa and cheese dip, but she never got any salsa and she never got any cheese dip. 
As for me, I ordered toast, and I got fucking pancakes. And I understand, it's no big deal, people make mistakes. I said, hey, I didn't order pancakes, I ordered toast. And he's like, are you sure? I'm like, yes, I'm sure. Don't you remember, you asked me white or wheat, and I spent like 30 seconds thinking, I'm like, I don't I want, why do I want wheat? And finally I said, I want it white. You remember that? It was just like 10 minutes ago. How have you forgotten already? Like a minute later, he brings me toast. I don't know how he managed to burn toast in a minute. I think it was someone else's messed up toast and he just brought it to me. He handed me the plate, it was scalding hot. The toast was deformed, it was black and, and crooked and like super crunchy. It was like eating charcoal. This didn't taste like toast and butter, it tasted like brick and mortar. And I didn't refill my drink. Not one fucking time did he refill my drink. I sat there for 45 fucking minutes staring at an empty glass. That pisses me right the fuck off. I know it's Denny's. I know it's low standards. I know that the guy waiting on me doesn't get paid worth a damn. But he can fill my fucking drink. That's like the bare minimum of what a waiter is supposed to do. All I had was a water. You can't come around with a pitcher of water and dump some in a glass every fucking 10 minutes. The place was empty. It's not like it was full and understaffed. It was a desolate Denny's. And now I know why it was desolate, because I guess everyone's keeping their distance from that place. I would have just found him and asked for a refill, but he disappeared ten minutes into waiting on us. It's like as soon as we got our food, he vanished off the face of the earth like dust in the wind. Around the 46th minute of staring at the empty glass on the table that used to be filled with the water that I drank 40 minutes ago, I started to get a sharp pain in the right side of my head. Like someone was jamming a Phillips head screwdriver right into my skull. I started to go like this, and ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. And everyone's looking at me like, TJ, are you okay? Do you need to go to the hospital, dude? Cause you don't look so good right now. And it's around that time that I sort of blacked out. The next few moments, aside from the screams, I can't remember whatsoever. When I finally came to, I was holding a human heart in my hands, and my waiter's writhing body was at my feet, and he was looking up at my bloody face, and we made eye contact, and I could see that disbelief, like, I can't believe that you just ripped my heart out of my open chest cavity. And I was honestly pretty glad to see him, because I was like, hey buddy, how about that refill? So those are pretty much the last words he heard on this earth, although I'm pretty sure he died mid-sentence. So he just heard like, hey buddy, how about the I mean, when you watch someone die as many times as I have, you can pretty much pinpoint the exact moment when the life truly exits their eyes. Thankfully, I avoided arrest because in this particular state, it's legal to kill someone if they have a funny accent, which he did. Uh, so finally, the Republicans got something right. Uh, the 25 copies of the special edition book, Evil Scum, which is a combination of my book, Scumbag, and my book, In Defense of Evil, sold out in less than 24 hours, which I did not expect at all, and I've already gotten uh, at least 20 or 30 letters from people asking me if they can be the exception to the rule and they can buy one, so I've decided to mint another 25 copies, but that is it. I really can't mint any more than that because if I put too many of them out there then it kind of destroys the value of it and I don't want to do that. So uh, that's it. You know, if you want the book, I'm putting out another 25 copies, but after that it's done, okay? So if you want it, click the link and go get it, but hurry because they went really fast last time, and I'm betting they're going to do the same this time. So, that's all. Bye-bye.